It's kind of hard to believe that the first Pitch Perfect movie hit the big screen 10 years ago, and the franchise has had fans singing a happy tune ever since. Well, after the massive success of the three films, they're now bringing those high notes to a television near you with the new series, Bumper, in Berlin. If all of the kings had the queens on the throne. Bumper Allen is feeling the music once again with actor Adam Devine reprising the role for a new TV series. I don't think it's going to come across as surprising to anyone that Bumper is still in the exact same place he was when we left him in the second movie. Well, Bumper may be down, but he's not out. Peter from Das Sound Machine. You're famous in Germany. Your TikTok has 7.6 million views. It's like a million views. Move to Berlin and work with me. I can make you a star. I'm moving to Germany, baby! When he gets the call that he's popular in Germany, I think he leaps at the chance to move there to try to resurrect his career or what he thought he had uh, of a career um, and, tr and try to make something happen for himself. And then when he gets there, he finds out that maybe he's not as famous as he thought he was and he doesn't have enough money to get back home. So he's, he's gonna have to make it work. And helping him make it work is a familiar face from the Pitch Perfect universe. He was like maybe two dimensions in the film. You saw a little bit, oh, he's a dancer. He wears mesh, what's next? Here, it's like you are, it's like when you put a gummy bear in, a gummy bear in the microwave, or some water, just wait like four days, it gets huge. That's what happens to my character's character, which is fun. You get to see new sides. He's not always just happy and bouncy, sometimes he's sad. Peter's a little bit uh, down on the lux in this show. It's a bit of a redemption that uh, my character is searching for in this series. I don't want to say too much, but uh, he's on some rough times. Showrunner and co-creator Megan Amram was instrumental in bringing the story to the small screen. This show is about, you know, what would you do if you were given your second chance a little later in life to do the thing you always wanted to do? This does happen to people. Like, um, you know, we modeled him a little bit after David Hasselhoff, of course, is incredibly popular in Germany. Um, and he really capitalized on that when he was, when it was first starting. He was like, no, I, these are my people now. I'm going to tour in Germany and Austria and I'm going to give the people what they want. Adding to all that fun is a mix of new characters. Peter, must be so hard for you to show your face in public. I am playing, um, I'm just playing a hyper extra and glamorous um, nightmare. I play the sort of villain of the show, the, the antagonist, and I'm just here to up everyone's day, really. I think Thea is the perfect example for um, don't judge a book by its cover. Um, I think she is very protective, uh, protective of her art and soul. And Modern Family alum Sarah Hyland gets to spend a lot of time with Bumper. Well, Heidi is uh, Peter Kramer's assistant who ends up becoming Bumper's manager. And uh, she's just this really bubbly, optimistic person who's a bit type A, very much a perfectionist. And uh, she harbors this secret talent. And. Um, is really scared for the for the world to see. She's cute, she's funny, she's weird, and um, she may like Bumper, but we don't know. You'll just have to watch. You also see how much German they learned while filming the series. Bayard in the high school. Genau. Is it Ich liebe dich? Ich liebe dich. I love you. Yes. Dick. See, I already forgot. Well, they didn't forget to share their talent at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade yesterday. And you can, of course, take a musical excursion to Germany with the cast because Pitch Perfect Bumper in Berlin is streaming right now on Peacock.